what it is, isn't it? All lives, all lives matter. Everyone deserves to just live their fucking lives the way they want to live and just be happy. All my days, what is this unnecessary drama? I don't get it, but all lives matter. Everyone deserves to just live their fucking lives the way they want to live and just be happy all my days what is this unnecessary drama i don't get man said but... unnecessary drama that she doesn't get like we're doing a beef with susie and sally chat unnecessary drama that she doesn't really get simplifying such complexities of disgusting institutionalized crap that we are seeing people are you know dying left right and center but it's just unnecessary drama that you just don't get yeah, we have a lot to talk about because I don't know who this person is, child, but it's, yeah. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content. I don't know what you're doing if you haven't. Click that button. Head over to my Instagram, Murad and it's called Morali. Subscribe and let's get into this video. There is this influencer who is really trending and is really pissed off a lot of people. Her name is Shade Beauty. No shade, no tea. I've never heard of this girl child. I don't know who she is. I don't follow her content. There's no really need for me to. I believe she has a massive following of, you know, a massive like female kind of, a massive like, yeah. Child, this is just jarring me out, man. It's always somebody, man. This is what I'm saying. This whole situation right now, it really is exposing some problematic individuals and people. All lives, all lives matter. Everyone deserves to just live their fucking lives the way they want to live and just be happy all my days what is this unnecessary drama i don't get but because this is if this if you don't know how to deliver your messages properly and actually communicate effectively and actually be a proper influencer and talk about stuff really and probably then that really just highlights how you've always thought as a person do you know what i mean like this is how you've always been child this is how you've always been this is and it's just being brought to the light Someone tweets, Shake Beauty is chatting a lot of crap about not posting anything to put herself in a happier state of mind. And just because she's staying silent, it doesn't mean she's not doing something good. Your ignorance is very loud. These influencers only care about their brand deals. She went on Instagram to finally address this matter and ended up saying all lives matter. This all lives matter stuff is really pissing me off now because I'm seeing it a lot everywhere. And for some reason it was trying to number one as well, maybe because of our frustration. If an ambulance child, it's no difference to an ambulance. Let me hit you with this kind of trajectory. If one house is on fire, you have an ambulance being called and the ambulance is pouring water on all of the houses on the damn street child, but there's only one house on fire. Why would an ambulance water down all of the houses when the other houses seem to be safe and one is burning down? Why? Why would that take place? This is what I don't understand. I feel like this all lives matter is just very reductive. And I just feel like it's just, you're trying to simplify something that is ridiculously complex and it comes off as ignorant as hell and lazy. And it's as if you just don't care and you're rubbing things under the carpet. And you're just saying everybody's lives matter, child. Nobody is saying that everybody's life doesn't matter. Nobody is saying that. But specifically, certain demographics, certain races, specifically the black race, black men and black women are suffering a lot and have been suffering a lot far more than anybody else that's point blank period doesn't mean that other demographics and cultures and religions or you know from these kind of you know demographics aren't suffering in some kind of capacity there's no denial of that nobody has said that but there's more going on here it's just really ignorant and rude and I'm just kind of tired, do you know what I mean? I'm just tired of it, do you know what I mean? I'm just so tired. And if you actually go to some of the stuff, somebody says, um, she, um, she blocked me on my old IG when I tried to educate her about cultural appropriation. This is what I'm saying. Imagine they're seeing your message now, but they're just blocking you. They don't want to know because they just don't care. And that's the reality of these individuals. If they don't know how to deliver their messages in an effective manner and show their ignorance, and then blocking people who are trying to educate them, they just don't care. They just don't care. What they care about are their brand deals that it just makes you such a, you, I, don't, I don't mean to be rude, but you're just a waste man. You're an absolute elite waste man. And if you see her pictures, you can see that she's in, you know, this particular kind of hairstyles as well, trying to adopt um, and culture appropriate because of her hair and stuff like this. And she was out here, I don't know where that, I don't know where it is, but there was something out here where she was showing a man with colored eyes 
and she was saying something about how oh you know like this picture or whatever you know something about how you'd want guys with eyes like this or you want a baby with eyes like this fetishizing here it is i'm sorry let's take a moment to appreciate this picture what i don't understand at this level of beauty get tagging who wants their eyes and skin that sounds so just demonic to me who wants their eyes and skin as if it's something that you can just buy or purchase that you plan to fetishize this is what it is and it's just like i feel like she's very popular amongst the asian girls kind of demographic and a lot of people are seemingly showing to be disappointed with her because she really is highlighting how much of a fool she is as a person and i feel like if you're coming with your chest and talking such nonsense what do you expect some other influencer, I don't know who this girl is, or maybe this is just a random person, I really don't know, says, so you want to appropriate black culture and you refuse to reblog things regarding the movement or the current events because your blog isn't about politics or activism or because it doesn't fit into your effing blog aesthetic. Unfollow me because with that you've chosen your side and that's all I need to know. Facts. Don't go around saying shit like I can't even do that much. You can do it so effing much by simply reblogging. And if you refuse to understand the concept of Black Lives Matter because you claim to not see colour, we are not on the same page because this way of thinking has never been and won't be an option. We have to use the platforms that we have and show the black community that we are here for them. This is the last thing we can do, the absolute bare minimum, a simple reblog. So F your blog aesthetics. Done. That's what she says. Done, child. Like, it's just done. And, like her blog isn't about politics or activism the fact that you feel like you can or can't be political is a really act of privilege especially in the state of the world that we live in today my instagram my youtube yes but a lot of people say to me for example that they don't know that i do youtube if they just follow me on instagram because i don't actually promote it as much there um you don't really see like links in the bio i actually don't why i don't know i just don't child it. it's just there's no real reason behind it but with the exception of my last couple of posts if you were to go through my Instagram, you wouldn't have guessed that I am somebody who talks about a lot of major important issues because I just mainly keep this for YouTube. But it's not something that I'm trying to, you know, keep in a way I'm too scared to make it too activist. Of course, my last post, but I'm just like, I want to just put it out there. But the fact that you're caring about how, you know, my blog isn't about this, whatever, that I find that to be just a ridiculous excuse. It doesn't make any sense. Yes, I've spoken about stuff on my blog, but I do it more on my Instagram. I do it more on my YouTube than my, than my Instagram blog or whatever you want to call it. But the fact that you feel afraid to do so is a major, major issue. You shouldn't care or it's scared to chase followers away. When I posted that video where I was saying, F you white racist, I was going crazy, whatever, whatever. I did not even think about, maybe I'll lose followers because I just don't care. Why would that be something that you associate heavy importance with? It really shows a troubling kind of mindset. Like, I genuinely don't care. I just don't. And I just don't. Like, on Twitter, I'm like, reporting on this protest i'm seeing for the first time i'm seeing that you know these kind of random kind of white racists in their mentions or whatever i just don't care like you just don't care right is right wrong is wrong right is right wrong is wrong my twitter is more political and so is my youtube to an extent more than my instagram doesn't mean that i'm afraid to post things on instagram the fact that you are afraid because you're afraid you clearly care more about your money than people's lives and this is what i find to be just quite sinister and it really is exposing how much of a problematic individual you are as a person and i just feel like the gag is you're trying to protect your blog and your brand deals and your money but the gag is how you're behaving is worsening it but the gag is that is that you can't even see it you're blind to your own mishaps and it's just very sad i don't need to berate you or ridiculously cuss you out because i feel like yes we can do it out of frustration but at the same time they're doing it themselves child they are doing their own work themselves to ruin their own brand and stuff because people the thing with social media is people move on quickly with stuff so people people can forget stuff but with this and with everything going on with this people won't forget people are not going to forget how you were acting they're just not going to forget at all they're going to remember it and you've damaged your credibility as an individual as a person not because of more so of what you've said but the fact that you're blocking people who are trying to educate you you could have posted screenshots of these people messaging you to say you know what i effed up badly i am so wrong this is an eye opener for me i can learn listen and move on but the fact that you are blocked from the me for me the biggest thing is that you are blocking people who are trying to help you and educate you because it shows that you do not care as a person as an influencer you don't care about your audience you don't care about the relationship with people that you're trying to make content for you just care about the damn money and that is the gag that is the gag for today
Let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this on this whole diabolical tiring situation, child. Um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are. Subscribe if you guys want to, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.